Oh yeah, this is going up. We're here right now protesting the Zionists of America honoring Brian Mast as a hero of Israel. We're here to demonstrate that we don't agree with that. We recognize that Israel is a terrorist state and that the actions that they're taking are inhumane and unjust. And we're here just to remind them that we have a voice and we're not afraid to use it and we're gonna continue to use it. We the people are so much stronger than we recognize. And even though the numbers might be small right now, our voice is strong and our hearts, our souls are huge and and our mission isn't going to stop. We're not going to stop. Give us our land back! Give us our land back! Genocide is crystal clear! Genocide is crystal clear! Shame! Shame! Kevin and I just came out. I was inside at the Heroes of Israel uh, gala and stood up when Brian Mast was receiving his award and shouted out uh, oppression warrants resistance and uh, free Palestine. I had people cursing me and <laughs> uh, waving at me with just their middle fingers. And uh, but it was it was definitely the highlight of my St. Patrick's. And I I lived and worked on a kibbutz when I was 19 years old. I've seen it up close. I've been attuned to it for years and uh, just all the oppression that's going on and the misrepresentations that are, are made by the uh, people like the Zionists of America. It's all interconnected with Sudan, Congo, everything. It's an ongoing genocidal uh, project for colonization and we have to rise up against that. We're in 2024 and there's no more room for that kind of mentality. Brian Mast literally said that uh, children of Gaza are also terrorists. Five-year-olds, that's not okay, you know? And they're bringing people like that into our community. I have family in Gaza. I don't know how they're doing. And we hear from them maybe once every three weeks and they don't get to say much. They basically text us and tell us they're okay. But I don't know what that means. But of course, I'm here for my family. Every day is a nightmare. And every day has been a nightmare for the last five months. And actually, it's been a nightmare for 75 years for the Palestinian people. Because 
Israel complains about October 7th, but every day has been October 7th for the Palestinian people, every single day. This nightmare has to end. I'm here for the people of Gaza who are starving to death. I'm here to be their voice. I'm here to raise awareness. I'm here to do everything I can with other people to raise awareness and, and stop this genocide. My name is Patrick McCann. I'm a retired high school English teacher and a former national president of Veterans for Peace, which has about uh, over 100 chapters in the United States where American veterans are fighting for Palestinian rights. I came here because I'm upset at the lack of humanity of those who support apartheid and foment genocide. The response to our lively protest by Zionist supporters of Israel was one of the most violent I've ever seen. They attacked a Palestinian brother and instigated mayhem. I'm appalled by their hatred, appalled by our government led by genocide Joe Biden, financing and possibly directing the carnage that we witness every day and every hour of the day. I came here to demand a permanent ceasefire, a permanent Palestinian state, and to fight against the U.S. government's addiction to war. That's why 